Welcome to the opening fixture of this season's UEFA Europa League. The domestic season still relatively freshly started in many of Europe's major leagues. It is a time filled with hope and expectation, and that is certainly the case here. The first step, one of many, towards the very summit of European football. This is the time when you dream, indeed perhaps you believe, you are allowed to believe. The Emirates awash with red and white, a sea of Arsenal, just as you would anticipate. Well, last year certainly had its fair share of memorable moments. Let us hope for the same, perhaps better, this time round. Well, what are we waiting for, Peter? Let's get the show on the road. This competition brings a special sense of occasion because of its history and tradition. And I guess we feel privileged to have worked on it over the years and remembering some of the, the great moments. And I sincerely hope we're in for uh, more starting right now. And that gets things running. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Alexandre Lacazette. He really is a top-class striker, Peter. His movement's so sharp and instinctive, and his first touch is usually bang on, giving him the best possible opportunity of, of getting an effort away. He's not just a goal poacher, though. He puts in a, a good defensive shift, too, pressing the opposition high up the pitch. OK, interesting. Behrin delivers. Yep, it's a corner. <laughs> Up to meet it! No, not the best of headers. David Luiz, Smith throw, and it's Aubameyang, uh, more than happy to take the muscular approach, looking to break out here, some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example, oh that's clearly not what he wanted to do. A real chance to break. Oh, good interception. Slavia Prague really have come out of the starting blocks here. Might have come as a, a minor shock to their opponents who look like they're, they're taken slightly aback. Could be a chance to do some meaningful damage now. Uh, needed a better pass there. Bar, Bar drives it forward. Cleared away. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. That's some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Here it comes. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Hoists it forward, and the counter is on. Bar. Well, they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit. A bit of creativity and adventure. Bar. And it's played forward. 
Luis positions himself well and cuts it out. Gabriel. That's gone for a throw in. Not a good throw at all, really. He's given away possession cheaply. Uh, he's made sure that that won't get through. And here's the chance to counter. Open the guard. Smith throw. Open the guard. Out to the right. Saka! Slavia Prague can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Forward it goes. What an adventurous run from a defender. Oh, try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. <phone rings> Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So another team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. See your views on the first half. Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story, as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. After 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. And the action is back on the way. Arsenal can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Smith, throw. Open the guard, plays it forward. Looks to bypass the midfield. Stanksu. Played in with accuracy. Gabriel goes looking. Finds him. Saka has been caught there. It's a foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Cleared without complication. Partey. Aubameyang. He's gone for goal! Oh, they can break here. Stanksu. Quarter of an hour into the second half. No breakthrough and well into the second period. It is still anyone's game. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, well played, he saw that coming. Smith, throw. Tierney. Arsenal keep the ball, but can't do anything meaningful with it. Bar.
Forward it goes. Hector Bearin. Hector Bearin drives it forward. Over the guard. And it's Hector Bearin. Throw in. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. Substitution for Arsenal. Number 32. Coming on to replace him is. Arsenal merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Cross deflected over the goal line for a corner. Great leap! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Partey plays it forward. And that has been cleared. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Saka played out to the right. Hector Behrin is fouled. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Great strike, but the keeper's equal to it. Arsenal clearly aren't looking comfortable on the ball at the moment. Predictability has just crept into their play. Stankso. Stankso spreads it towards the left. Luis gets it back. Defenders on the back foot. Now it's Lacazette. That's a decent ball. He's got the ball. Goes for goal! Yes, he's done it! Finally, finally, finally! Aubameyang versus the keeper, and only one winner. Well, was there ever any doubt? It made it look like he's done it over and over and over again, and he has. Slavia Prague are making a change now. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Arsenal take... And there goes the final whistle. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day and a platform on which to build. Your reflections then, Jim. Listen, ideally, any new campaign needs a start that puts three points on the board and its mission accomplished. Nothing too fancy was required, just a, a good solid team display for me.